What's up? So I'm doing my Spanish final right now. You just have to record yourself answering questions. Whenever I go to record myself, I literally can't even speak English. Well, like, okay, obviously I have to speak in Spanish. So I literally can't even speak Spanish. And so here we go. I'm just gonna go at it. It's a voice recording. I have to do so. And also you're not supposed to write it out before you say it, but I was just like, I'm gonna write it out. So now I have to sound like I didn't write it out. So it's just, it's complicated. Huh? College life, right? Really gets you. Me gusta la... Mm, nope, that's not where I was going with that one. All right, take two. Para una persona que no lo leo, diría que es para que todos sean conscientes. Y sin embargo, el cuento es sobre un empleado. Uh, okay. Take three. It's un tema a tener en cuento. I literally think I just blacked out while saying all that. I'm gonna film it again because I don't know if that sounded good. Okay, bop to the top, ready? Es, una, es un tema a tener en cuento. Literally, how did I just end that? That was not... <sighs> okay, we'll do it again and this is my final one because I have two others that I have to record. I need water. La manipulación es algo go. I'll go crawl. Whatever, that was me doing that. Hopefully one of those is good enough. But now I have two others to do, so I'm gonna go write them. Also, if my Spanish teacher is watching this for any reason, I did not write them before I spoke them. Ha ha ha. So yeah, all right, it's time to go do the others. And uh, I just got my last email from my surfing class. Like, obviously the class has moved all online, and so it was just like watching a YouTube video and taking a test on it. But they said, please stay safe as this situation continues to evolve, and I hope you have the chance to be back on the water with us soon. I literally want to be back in San Diego so badly. I'm one of those people where like whatever situation you put me in, like I'm fine, I'll survive, like obviously. And you have to put everything in perspective and know that I'm here in a home with like my mom and food and a place to sleep and I'm safe and all that. And so obviously I'm really fortunate for my situation in quarantine. And I know a ton of people have it so much worse and I'm really thankful to like be safe and healthy and all of that stuff. But obviously it sucks that things are taken away and that surfing class is one thing I really enjoyed and looked forward to every single week in life because there's really nothing like just getting credit for a class where you're just in the ocean and having fun and like literally even if we weren't surfing we were just kind of like sitting on boards tanning swimming having fun and so i miss it and that class is officially over i did all my like work for that online so in perspective everything's fine but i just miss being in san diego because it's just weird being home like finishing school in this format it's just weird but yeah it's fine whatever life will go on Hello, so I am taking right now, or I'm going to take my final exam of sophomore year for college online. And just as I was about to go take it, my one friend texted me from school saying that my college's school system sent out like an email saying that there are plans for school to be online in the fall. And now I'm kind of just like distracted and I can't even focus to take this test. And like I always, in the back of my head and like even the front of my head, I just like thought like it's impossible for us to go back to school especially like being at like a really big state school and so I never really had hope that we were gonna go back and we still don't know specifically if like our school is involved in the plans not to go back in the fall but now I'm kind of just like really really upset the whole situation is just so weird like it's crazy and it goes to show you that like life can really be taken away from you at any point and like the things that you once found important and hold to like such a high like value can just like the next moment mean absolutely nothing and like life can just be rerouted rerouted re yeah picked up and like re it at any moment and now it's like I don't even want to think about not being there in the fall. Every time I leave for a break from school, I ball my eyes out because it's just my happy place and makes me so, so happy. And now that I got the news that I may not go back in the fall, it's just throwing me for one. But I have to go take this test, so I'm going to just try to take it, clear my mind of that, and then think about all of that later and take in life and just I don't even know okay hi I'm in the middle of a time final right now like I'm literally taking it and all my friends and my mom are sending me articles of my school being shut down in the fall and I'm so 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 sad but I have to take this final because it's timed and I just want to sit here and cry because if I do start crying I'm not gonna stop and then I'm gonna fail my test and I need to go take this but I'm so so sad I just finished my last test of sophomore year 
Ugh, I literally like I'm one of those people that I'm kind of like obsessed with school if that makes sense And I always feel like I need to be doing schoolwork And I'm always just having in the back of my head like the stressful feeling of like I have something to do And so when I'm done with school, it's like a weird feeling It's like a bittersweet feeling ending sophomore year of college like this and just really weird And as like a little update of what's happening in the fall with my school The school hasn't released a statement yet But the major system that it's a part of has and there's like articles all over the place from the New York Times or not New York Times LA Times and all the other schools within the system have sent out emails saying that the school in the fall is online and so I'm just like waiting for that email to come because I'm just I know it's gonna come and like there's nothing you can do about it but I'm just so emotional that I'm just gonna cry anyways so that's what's happening and as Hannah Montana said life's what you make it so let's make it rock um yeah <laughs>